start by thanking everyone that is involved with um, giving me the blessing of this scholarship. So, thank you for that. <clears throat> uh, my faith journey started at a young age. My parents, John and Joe Frick, lived with a contagious love and commitment to God that shaped who I am today. My parents helped to plant the River of Life Community Church here in Canada over two decades ago. Due to their involvement in the church, I have been surrounded by positive adult figures who have been affected by the love of Christ. This way of growing up set a firm foundation in my life that has never faded. Now, although I have this foundation, I still have to make the decision to accept Christ as my Savior. And that is where the truth grow true growth happened. I was roughly 12 years old when I had my first true experience with the Holy Spirit. The youth in the River of Life Church's district attend summer camps. And for the middle school, it was the Swan Lake Christian Camp. Each morning at this camp, the campers would be given 15 or so minutes for a quiet time with God. One particular day, I was reading my Bible during this time. I cannot recall what was specific. After a couple of minutes, the wind picked up and flipped a couple of pages over to Psalm 23. I read this chapter and was immediately greeted by chills and an overwhelming sense of joy and peace. It was the most surreal moment I had ever had at that point in my life. From that moment forward, I knew that my life was devoted to God and that Jesus truly was my Savior. As I matured through the next few years, I began to study the Bible and pray consistently. As I stated, I devoted my life to him, but I wasn't entirely sure what that entailed. Going into high school, it was known that I was a Christian, but my actions didn't reflect that. In my mind, I thought that because, <clears throat> because I didn't do sinful things that are often thought of as bad, that I was there, I was where I needed to be and my faith was good. I didn't realize that the things I say, what I chose to talk about, and the people I surround myself with can be just as harmful. God was gracious, gracious and showed me this. And in turn, I separated myself from the things that were separating me from God. My faith has exponentially grown in recent years, and God continues to shape me and teach me new lessons. I have found ways to disciple others and get involved in mission work, such as counseling at the same camp I had my first spiritual, spiritual experience at, and even helping with worship. I recently went on a mission trip to Alaska, which opened my eyes to the opportunities that are to show the love of Christ to others. I am in no way perfect. I continually fall short of God's standard, but because he is gracious and merciful to me, I can say that I am saved.